Unified Super Middleweight Champion Clarissa Shields against Unified Junior Middleweight Champion Hannah Gabriels for the vacant WBA and IBF Female Middleweight Championships. With that, we once again go to the center of the ring and our ring announcer, Pete Trevino. And now, boxing fans, it's time to throw down. This contest is your main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA and IBF female middleweight championships. Presenting first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. She brings with her to the ring a record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 11 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Alahuela by way of Tabarcia de Mora, San Jose, Costa Rica. Here is the former WBO female welterweight and current WBO female junior middleweight champion of the world, Hannah La Amazona Gabriels. Her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the maroon trunks trimmed in gold. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. She comes to the ring undefeated with a record of five wins and no losses, with two of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Flint, Michigan, here is the two-time Olympic gold medalist and the current IBF and WBC female super middleweight champion of the world, Clarissa T-Rex Shields. <laughs> Referee Gerard White with final fight instruction. Two seconds only, two seconds only. Ladies, we're going to rules in the dressing room. I expect a spirited, passionate event, okay? The trunks here are a little high. We're going to let it work here and up. They're a little high here. We'll let it work to the middle and up. Keep your punches in front. Keep it fair. Keep it clean. Touch them up. Let's go to work, ladies. And we take a look at the numbers for these two. In her most recent fight, Shields scaled 167. In her most recent fight, Gabriel's scaled 154. Gabriel's naturally smaller, but the good news for her, she has a reach that's equal to Shields. The unified rules are in effect here. No standing eight, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The fight is official after four rounds. And remember, women's boxing, these are two-minute rounds. So here we go, 10 rounds for two belts. And you can see Gabriel's very aggressive right out of the box. Yeah, and she got counted pretty yeah, sweetly did. there. Yes, yeah, she did. And dropping her hands. Yep. That's probably not a good idea. Not at all. Shields very obliging and will just hit her multiple times if she comes in like that. Exactly. You have to stay calm in the heat in the moment. And right now, Shields is very, very calm, very composed after a butt there. Yeah, I think they bang her head. Shields a combination again. Some big bombs being thrown by also, Shields. Well, and Gabriels is right Gables. there for them. Oh, uppercut and down goes Shields! Eight. Ah. It was an uppercut that put her down. We've talked about Shields never having to overcome adversity in the ring. Here we are. And now what Gabriels Stop. has Stop. to avoid is... Time. 
Mouthpiece. being too careless here, Half-time. being too confident. Mouthpiece. Mouthpiece has been out since the knockdown. Pop it in, no coaching. Pop it in, pop it in, mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is in the ring. The referee does not see it. Box! Get that mouthpiece. Well, that made it given him chills a couple of minutes to, I mean, a yeah. couple of seconds to tear her head. Time! Well, I'll say an action first round. Yes, thanks to Hannah Gabriel. I'm on the table here, you're not there. Take your time and relax, okay? Let me get it. One behind. I got it. You're too anxious. Take your time. Work the jab. Cut the ring off and go to the body. You go faint, okay? She's trying, she's trying to suck you in. She's here, bouncing. Put the jab downstairs and upstairs. Don't look for that long right hand. Step in with that short right hand we talked about. Step in. First knockdown of the rest of Shields' career was a right yeah, uppercut. The left hook was dressing. It may have knocked her out uh, over. But the right uppercut clearly was the punch with the left hook that hurt Shields. And there she watches as she goes down. She watches her mouthpiece come out of her mouth and go across the ring. I would say that's quite an unexpected moment. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I think she was very shocked. She was very surprised. But I think she took it pretty well, got I, back I, up, and, I, and didn't swing wild, took her time. I was going to say, I, I don't think she was really hurt by it. She was certainly stunned. But for the first time in her career, Clarissa Shields, as a pro at least, is behind 10-8 on the card. Exactly. And maybe trying a little too hard here. John David Jackson said, take it easy in the corner. You know, it's funny, when Gabriels got countered in the first round, they said, yeah, she's going to back off a little bit. She's going to calm down. Well, she didn't. And her game plan is exactly what she told me in the dressing room before. Aggressiveness. She wants to try to overwhelm okay, Clarissa head, Shields. That's, head, that's it worked in the first round. Box, you know that headbutt in the first round too. There's a swelling on the left cheek of Gabriel's, and that was from the headbutt. Yeah, she has high cheekbones to begin with. Good left hand from Shields. Five punches unanswered, and Gabriels comes back with one of her own. Gabriel's and she's got some pop. Yeah, I think she's got rocked again. Yeah, Shields can't afford to flail away in these combinations, even though she's controlling them. I think that time Shields got Gabriel's attention. Heck of a fight so far, I'll say that. I think we've all waited for the time as a professional where Clarissa Shields would be tested. It's awfully early in this fight, but she's being tested by somebody who's a champion and fighting like a woman who's determined and thinks she can win. And, and to some extent, it's kind of matching with the speed, you know, because she's able to hit her. Again, an action second round. There's the great Tommy Hearns. Absolutely Detroit royalty. Now a promoter. Yes. There's a show here with Jackie Callen tomorrow night. And Thomas Hearns wasn't necessarily the best fighter of the 80s, Barry, but he was the most exciting fighter of the 80s. He was about the most exciting round of boxing I've ever seen. And I had the pleasure of calling. Okay. Abajo y se mueve, abajo y se mueve, abajo y se mueve, tranquila, no entra a chocar. El agua. The rest of Shields can throw a lot of punches at one time, and here she goes. The left hook drives back Gabriel's, and then Shields keeps firing both hands. But after those first two missed for the lot. Yeah, and she has to be careful that, you know, now that she's fighting a, uh, an opponent who can hit her and hurt her, apparently, she has to be careful not to leave herself open in those exchanges. Shields. That swelling is getting worse. Oh, 
Good body shot from Gabriels. Gabriels now uh, more intent on picking her spots, I think, huh? Looks like it, huh? Yeah, Clarissa now is trying to, trying to find her now. Found her there with that overhand right. But Gabriels had an answer, and there's another right hand from Shields. And two body shots from Gabriels. Shields being a little more patient as well here. Three jams all missed. I'll tell you what, Gabriels, he's got that herky-jerky style, you know. A lot of bouncing her and Stop. good Stop. speed. Get back. Box. Get that class in front of me, buddy. I think Shields is, is, is finding her distance now with the jab. It can't get lazy in there. Got to keep your hands up. Well, we talked about Clarissa Shields needing to cut the ring off. I don't think really that's relevant right now because Gabriels is not showing that much lateral movement, more forward movement. Shields trying to suck her in here. Gabriels misses. And a good job by Gabriels. Got in with the left hand, got out. Exactly, that's a veteran move. Close round. Still feel like Shields is trying to load up with every shot. She's trying, to, she's trying to shut on drive away through it now. Because she felt your power. That was a good body shot you threw earlier. Give you get a chance. Go back to the body corner. That's going to set that right hand up for you. So do me a favor. When you find that right hand, come back with the hook. Clarissa Shields will move her hands. She's been averaging 60-something punches a round in a two-minute round. That projects to almost 100 for a three-minute round. This is the same replay, and you see that Gabriel sort of rode with that right hand a little okay. bit, but it still landed flush, and uh, I gave Shields the round. Yeah, that's interesting. I gave it to Gabriel's, but I, I believe it was a very close round. I gave it to Shields, and I got the fight even. Round four. This more measured pace is what I've seen on tape of Gabriel. So she's just getting hit with left hooks there. But this is more how she usually fights as opposed to what she did in round one. Right hand from Shields there over the top. Bring that one up. I agree with you, Raul. I think as we look at your scorecard here, you've got an even fight right now with a 10 8 first round. I'm going to say, Raul, I agree with you that Shields still has a tendency to load up with every shot. Yeah, she's uh, get, you know, she gets over anxious, you know, so they got to go back to the corner and John David Jackson kind of settles her down to take your time. Take your time. Pop that jab out there. Find the right distance. Don't load up with every shot. And Gabriels is still there and still has some pop. Stop! Step back. Step back. But guys, you know that anytime you score a knockdown, especially an unexpected knockdown in round one, that can have a negative effect as well. Because you start looking for the one shot, maybe the same shot, and it takes you out of your game plan. I'm I not agree. suggesting that's necessarily the case, no. but mentally it might be. I, I agree. It, it, it had to ruin her mentally because she came in here, you know, with a big crowd, very confident. She thinks she's going to dominate. I know she didn't expect to get dropped in the first round, so no. she's got to mess with her head. Yeah, a first round knockdown like that can that, that mess wasn't, with both their heads. Yeah. That wasn't in plans. That wasn't in the, in the game plan. I mean, that wasn't in her plan to get dropped. I agree with what you're yeah. saying about Gabriel's too, Dusty. Well, Gabriel's work rate right now, way down. Way down. What happened? What happened? Breathe. I got better. I'm 
jugando un poquito la bota. Open your mouth a little bit. Tranquila. Espera, yo me estoy viendo. Abajo primero. La recta. Go to the body first, the, the lead. Ya sube, su estamina. No me suelte abajo. No hace ningún intercambio. Ok, se puede. Está haciendo un trabajo. You can do it, come on, you can do it. This is round five. They want Gabriels to work the body first. You know, Barry, I talked about star power for these women we're seeing tonight. Costa Rica's never had a male world champion. She's, Gabriel's the only female world champion they've ever had. This fight is on live in Costa Rica right now. And you can imagine the whole country's watching. Absolutely. Not just the World Cup, you know. <laughs> and the soccer team lost. So. <laughs> Very different fight, as you said now, from Gabriel's up on her bike. Yeah, now Shields needs to cut off the ring. Because she's getting a lot of lateral movement from Gabriel's. I wonder if Gabriel's did blow a lot of energy in that first round. Very likely. I mean, I know she's used to fighting long fights. She's a champion, but she hasn't really been the same since that first round. Good right hand by Shields, and another left hand by Shields. And a big right hand by Shields, although Gabriel's ruled with that. Maybe that's a wake-up call for Gabriel's, too, who all of a sudden throws a three-punch combination. Yo, know, Gabriel's is being reduced to someone who's looking for that one punch. And you know, she is a smaller fighter in there, used to fight at 154. Larissa's coming down from 168. She's definitely bigger, so maybe her just the body weight is wearing Gabriel's down. Gabriel's breathing through the mouth now as well. Larissa Shields. Historically fights with her mouth open. Yeah, Shields now, you can sense, starting to take control. Gabriel's holding. It's halftime of this fight, and because of what happened in round one, Shields has dominated most of the rest of the action, but isn't up very much on the cards. You see her jabs, a four jab advantage, and the power shot's only 11 power shot advantage. So not a big edge, but here is the story of the fight, early at least. Watch the uh, right hand, right uppercut, right there hurt Shields, and follow up left hook put her down. That puts Shields two points down on the cards. Now she's made that up, at least on my card, with furious combination punching just like this. And as the rounds have mounted, we've seen Shields continuing with the flurries, and Gabriel's only doing it in spots. Now Shields is the aggressor. Gabriel's buying time with lateral movement. This is round six. Gabriel's had her lowest punch output in round five. Yeah, she is. Breathing through her mouth now. Wild right hand from Shields. Stop! Stop! Get back. Get back. Shields is still one of the things John David Jackson told us he was good to try to do with Shields is get her to set down on her punches. And she still seems a little wild to me, but again, times, it's only one fight. Yeah, at times she does. Stop! Get back. Shields throwing more, landing more. Maybe not equaling the volume we've seen in the past, but she's taking control of this fight. Very definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Every shot there, she's loading up. She's got to... Pick her shots, speed, right? Yeah. Pick her shots. Take the shot, pace her shots, touch, touch, then the power shot. And that's what John David Jackson, our new trainer, has been stressing. Right. That was two jabs of the right hand. Right to the bottom, nice. came up with the left hand. Nice combination. Keep in mind, Clarissa Shields never scored a knockdown as a pro. And Clarissa breathing through her mouth also here. That still seems a stronger than two. Bring it up, Hannah. There's 
really no reason for Shields to be fighting off the ropes. A little overhand right by Gabriels. And that was a good shot, straight right hand from Shields. And that brings the crowd alive here, and Shields trying to finish with a flourish at the bell. Gabriels came to life a little bit in round six. He has Shields on the ropes, let, gets hit with the right hand with her shoulder, doing the Mayweather shoulder roll, didn't work. And then a furious exchange in the end of the round. And watch a left hook coming from uh, Gabriels. Shields a little wild, a little wide with those shots. Perhaps not picking her punches as much as John David Jackson would want, but you see she landed a big right hand and another right hand and did win that exchange. We come to round seven. Teresa Shields was dropped in the first round, but has, at least through our eyes, has taken control of this fight. Oh, yeah, she's back in control. And you see Gabriel's, you know, is, is making a mistake of backing up straight. In the last round, Shields almost had her out. She backed up straight. Gabriel's backed up straight, and she was really getting hit with big power shots. I just noticed. Christina Hammer over there watching the fight. Wonder what she's thinking. <laughs> I wonder. And another exchange. They're both getting their good right hand from Shields. Gabriel's fighting like if she's going to go out, she's going to go out in a shield. Good right hand again by Shields. Gabriel's still right there. Gabriel's only chance is to land a big power shot. And I wonder if these exchanges, while dominated by Shields, if she shouldn't back off a little bit and box a little bit more. Good left hand slipped in by Shields in that last exchange. She's got her mouth open. I wonder which one of them. I mean, they're both swinging. One of them is going to punch themselves out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think they're both yeah, good. Yes. Honestly. But Shields has something to give her energy that Gabriel's doesn't, and that's the crowd. Yes. They're chanting T-Rex. Right hand, but a little more slapping involved in that from Gabriel. Well, I think not just the crowd, Steve, but I think, you know, Shields feels that, you know, she's got a lot of pride and she feels like she carries women's boxing. And then Shields in control of things. spectator with her trainer and Christina Hammer's probably saying to herself yeah this is a pretty ent entertaining action fight but I don't fight like Hannah Gabriels yeah. I fight a whole different style so whatever Clarissa Shields is doing isn't going to work against me look at these exchanges toward the end of the round here again Shields a little more pinpoint with her shots but again fighting off the ropes and I just don't think with a, a presumed lead on points I don't know that she needs these big exchanges. Left hook there by Gabriel. Does she have one more punch in her to make this interesting? I don't know. We'll see. I think they're both tired. Okay, it's working good. Round number eight. One Shields was not only dropped but outpunched more connects for Gabriel than Shields. That had never happened to Clarissa Shields as a pro. But in every round since, she's outpunched and outlanded Gabriel. See these kind of moments where not much is happening. I think that's that's a huge advantage for Shields. I agree. 
The only way she's going to lose this fight is to get caught. Good right hand by Shields. Watch head your butt. hands. Watch your hands. Another head buddy, yeah. And Gabriel's is shorter and you know, she comes in with her head. I think this is a very good fight for Shields. It's a good fight to have. I oh, think. yeah. I'm going to learn a lot from this fight. You know, she's fighting a champion who's fighting with a champion's mentality. Meaning yeah. that when things aren't going right, she's still trying to win. Just don't know if she has enough energy to win at this point, Gabrielle. But look who's coming forward. Work she's game. She's work tough. You work? Stop. Step back. Let her go. Box. She's, she's still making shields work. She's not making it easy for her. She's got her thinking. She can't take no rounds off. And a good Beautiful. on the left hand from Shields. And those are not wild punches. Yeah, short and compact with that hook. Good left hand slipped in again by Gabriels. Kind of just to keep her honest. Good round. Thank you. Good round for you. Good round. The body work was nice. And, her, and you see that rope every time. You're going to see the headbutt right here. They were both coming in. Shields recoils. She's got to be careful to keep her hands up there, though, when she's complaining oh, to the referee. Oh, she was the one that came down. Okay? Congratulations. Okay. Finish with the hook for me. Okay? That's a good round for you. Kill with my neck, yeah. All you're trying to do is bait you in now. Every now and then, give her a little faint. Very good round for you. Here we go. Good round. Round nine. Gabriel's still trying. Shields, Go ahead. Shields has been 10 once. Gabriel's been 10 or more four times. Well, Shields needs them rounds. She's going to fight with Steven Hammer. Again, a good exchange, and Gabriel's still really trying, but finishing second. A left hand from Shields and a right behind it. Two jabs in the right hand. We talked a lot about how size would impact this fight with Shields coming down a weight and Gabriel's going up. I don't think it's, I think Shields is right when she said to me, I don't think it's going to impact the fight that much. Shields hasn't hurt Gabriel, maybe hurt her once or twice. It hasn't been an inside fight. Yeah. It's been an action fight. Oh, yeah. In the opening bell. Right hand from Shields again. Gabriel's is still there. And right hand again from Shields. Shields is thinking, what do I have to hit her with? Well, it was like that with Tori Nelson. Sometimes you question her power. Yeah. Oh. And we should point out, Gabriel's in her one loss was stopped in the second round by Alexandria Castillo. And was down in the second fight. Yes. Ice bag, ice bag. Ice bag. 
Súbela por el centro también. Ah, oh, olvidad de la sube. Se pueden. Keep telling him to throw downstairs and then up. Vamos más. That's her husband. Last round. Let's hear it, Detroit. This is the 10th and final round in your main event. So, 10th round. The crowd loves it. It's been an action fight. Sure has. Gabriel's landed more punches against Shields than any of Shields' of previous opponents. 117 punches landed. That's a lot. Shields seems to me to be in excellent shape coming into this fight. And you can see just a few, a little nuance of things that John David Jackson has worked with her on. I think her punches, by and large, a little straighter than they have been. Still tends to be a little wild on occasion. Both got there. Some good exchanges. Yeah. Shields uh, winning them exchanges. Keeping her hands up right there. Yet a combination by Shields starting to the body, body. coming upstairs. Shields doing some pretty good body work. Shields peppering her, and every time she does, Gabriel comes back. Watch it here, Hannah. Watch it here. She's tough. That time, Gabriel's time. held after. Uh, we got a cut. Accidental headbutt. Somebody's got a cut in. now. Yeah. Fox. Can't tell. Don't matter anymore. 30 seconds left in the fight. That may be a shield on the cheek. Yeah, left cheek. And it's going to end kind of wow. the way it started with a battle. Hey, Gabriel fought all the way through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Got to give it to her. Absolutely, she did. A great test for Clarissa Shields. We all feel she's done enough to win the fight, but a heck of a test for her. Being all the way to the end. Being tested far more than she ever was. And Clarissa Shields got dropped. She got cut. Dropped in the first round, cut in the last round. She got pushed the whole way. She got headbutted a bunch of times. Yeah. All that's a, it's a part of learning and you know getting better. Now. Absolutely, a lot of, absolutely. A lot of fighters can't deal with that. You get cut, you get headbutted, that's, you get dropped. I think that's what's to be learned out of this. I think I, I think you can make a case for this is by far her best performance, despite being knocked down. Because of the quality yes, of the opposition. Yes. Yes. And she had to deal with, with as you said, deal with adversity. First time. Well, now the scoreboard's clean, and you know what everybody's going to be talking about. That's right. The possibility, at least, of a matchup between, assuming Christina, excuse, excuse me, assuming Clarissa Shields wins this, has won this fight, which I think is a given. Fair assumption. If Hammer and Shields, if that fight is made, they'll be fighting for all four middleweight belts. And, yeah, and it really makes me look forward to that fight, yeah. assuming it happens. And does Nelson fight Gabriel now? Why not? <laughs> hey, I, I pay to see Gabriel's anytime. I, I think that'll be a head-on collision between both of the fighters. Uh, terrific Nelson and, and Gabriel, yeah. Round one was a shocker here. We talk about Clarissa Shields overcoming adversity. This is what she had to overcome. They exchanged. And out of nowhere, Gabriel's lands a right uppercut, left hook combo, drops Shields, first knockdown of Shields' career. But from that point on, when they exchanged, Shields almost always got the better of it. Gabriel's remained in the fight, remained dangerous. But there you see Shields landing at the right distance. Interestingly, the bigger woman, she did, did not have a reach advantage in this fight. Halfway marker was more of the same. I can't really say that Gabriel's was ever in danger of getting stopped. And then in spurts, as you see here when they would trade, Gabriel's remained dangerous, had enough energy to trade with Clarissa Shields, but did not do enough to win the round.
Well, that was a heck of a night of boxing, I'll tell you. I think both women, uh, both yeah, assuming again that Clarissa Shields wins this fight, she and Christina Hammer, both were very impressive. That was the last cut from the headbutt that you could see on the cheek of Clarissa Shields. Here's how it happened. Yeah, this is the last minute of the 10th round right there. Oh. Gabriels was against the ropes, came forward. Her arms were down, but her head was up. All right, so let's find out the how the judges saw this one. We go to the center of the ring once more, and our ring announcer, Pete Trevino. Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for both of the fighters in this ring. After 10 championship rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Procopio scores the contest 97 to 92. Judge Ancona scores the contest 98 to 91. And Judge Hayes scores the contest 97 to 92. All for your winner by unanimous decision and new WBA and IBF female middleweight champion of the world, Claire. Yeah.